Hello, my wonderful lovelies. How is everyone doing out there today? My name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, if you have, welcome back. Don't forget, guys, if you like my videos, what are you supposed to do? Hit that like button down there. And that little thing, I think it's a, it's a like or a thumbs up or something. Yeah, thumbs up. Don't forget to do that for me because I really appreciate you guys being here and taking the time out of your busy days and out of your, your suck at home days and spending that time here with me. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Usually I ask for that at the end, but I'm kind of getting it out of the way now to get it over with. I'm going to have a lot of videos hopefully coming up for you guys, a lot of giveaways, because I want to give back to you all. So if you hit the notification, you'll know when I do this again. All right, now that's out of the way. Major disclaimer here. I want to tell you guys, my videos are by, in no way, shape, or form, telling you to run out there and jump in by makeup, jump and get on subscription bandwagons, because I'm not. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm pressuring you into that because I don't. The reason I get on here and do this is because makeup relaxes me. Doing things like this relaxes me and I have a little bit of a retail therapy problem. Yeah, a little bit of a problem because it kind of gets me out of the house without getting out because I have major social anxiety disorder. So I don't go shopping in public for things. I go online and shop. So my subscription boxes are my ways of testing the waters, so to speak, testing new, new products, and that's what I'm doing today. I get Ipsy and I get Birchbox, Allure, Play by Sephora, BoxyCharm, Macy's, which I haven't gotten yet. I subscribe but haven't gotten. Um, Fashion Style, which I have subscribed but haven't gotten. couple others I haven't gotten yet and um my remember reveal which I got for the first time last month and loved it because everybody needs something for themselves and my boxes are for me and guess what they're also for you because whatever I get in my boxes that I cannot use do not like or not for right for my skin tone for my skin coloring I give back to you guys because why hoard it all when I can give it to you because that's what life's about it's about giving and sharing and that's what I do here on my channel so, that being said, um, as you can tell, some things in my face haven't been done because with Ipsy and Birchbox, you are given the opportunity to see what's in your bags, what's in your box, and I already know. Plus, I did go ahead and sanitize these things before I took them, before I'm showing them to you. I have already seen them. I didn't take them out of their containers, but I have wiped their con the containers off because with everything going around, I want it to, with everything going on, I want it to make sure that that is done. So I do know some of the things that are in there. I don't know the colors because I haven't taken them out of their containers, but I do know what's in there. But I went ahead and did some of my eye makeup. Um, I did use my Trolls. This came from my Trend Mood box, which is another box I get. Trend Mood is not a mystery box. She does show you what's in those boxes, but it's like a mystery box, meaning you have to kind of jump on it, get those boxes when they do come out. But this is the, the, um, the Trolls World Tour by Pure Cosmetics that I have on my eyes. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. It's a very beautiful palette. By no means is it anything against the, the makeup at all. Um, and you, one thing you need to know about me if you haven't been here before, I give you my honest reviews based on how I feel about the products, how they work for me. They may not work for you the same way and they may work for you better or worse. It's just my reviews. Um, my skin type is normal to dry. I do have aging eyes, aging skin. I'll be 52 this year. I went through chemotherapy a couple years ago, so my skin is very dehydrated from that. I do have um, wrinkles around here just because of my age and because of the dehydration from chemo. Um, I have loss of lashes and eyebrows. My eyebrows I draw completely on. I do not have any eyebrow hairs. And I am using the Grande Lash MD Lash Serum, not the mascara, just the serum. I did order the last con lash conditioner by them that I haven't gotten yet. It's from Sephora. It'll be here next week, I think, um, or later in this week. I'm not sure. But I used the, the lash serum, and it's doing wonders. But I don't have lashes, like, right in here, and I'm just now starting to get them back. One of the things in one of these boxes is a mascara. I'm going to try it. I use the By Terry um, Twish Last, which is amazing. It works wonders. I use other mascaras, but that one happens to be my favorite. And it works really good in getting these little tiny lashes in between here. So, that being said, I'm going to show you what I did with the, the palette. I don't really like it. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. It's kind of a muddy mess. But I do want to show you so you can see what I attempted to do. It just doesn't look that good. And the lighting is changing. It is getting a little darker here. It rained all day today. 
um, put me in a little bit of a funk. I haven't been in a funk, but I got a call from my friend Maya today and she and I talked to her like every two hours and it was like the best ever. I don't have a lot of people around here that, that associates with makeup. Um, so to get on the phone and talk to her, even though she lives all the way across the United States, we share so much in common. And Maya, if you're out there, thank you so much for that call. It really brightened my day and, and then a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. But anyway, um, this is what I did. Um, it just looks like one big color to me. It doesn't really look like it did a whole lot. So what I did was I took um, this shimmer color here and then this color here and I put it like on the inner part of the first part of the lid and then I used a little bit of this to kind of blend it out up here and then I, on the outside corners I used the darker colors but it just didn't and as you can tell looked all like all just like all one color when I put it on. So I don't know whether it was just the way I laid it on my eyes. I did use my P. Louise base um, in 0 0.05. Um, before I put the colors on, but it just didn't blend. I mean, it blends well. It lays well. It's, you know, I think it's beautiful. There is a highlighter in there. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, so I didn't do any highlighting colors or anything like that yet. So I don't know whether it'll make it change when I put that on, but it just seems like it turned into all one color when I put it on my eyes. It could just be the, the way I used it. I'm not that great at makeup yet. Um, sometimes my looks are good. Sometimes they aren't. I mean, I have worn makeup for the last... I don't know, 35, 40 years, something like that. I just, I'm learning as I go. And I've learned a lot over the last year with different ways to wear makeup and I still learn. You can go back and look at videos from me six months ago and I've come a long way. And I still have a long way to go. I just like doing it. My, my channel started out to talk about my breast can cancer journey. It just kind of blossomed. And now I just kind of sit here and from my vanity that's against my wall in my bedroom, put on makeup, talk to you guys, and share parts of my life with you. And... Let's talk about these boxes. Okay, Birch Box is $15, comes every month, and plus tax, all these are plus, plus tax. And it comes in a box, and you get a little keepsake box that comes with it. Some people don't like that because they don't like the waste of the cardboard box. I reuse my boxes. I use them either mm -hmm. to give back to you all when I when I send things out, or I use them to put in, I use them to put store like lipsticks and things in, or I use them to store receipts. I use them for jewelry, things like that. I've only gotten two. This is my second one, but I got them years ago when going through chemo. I stopped getting them because they kept sending me hair products. So I'm trying them again. So we'll see how this month goes and whether or not I like it. Um, my Ipsy Glam Bag is $12 and the Ipsy Plus, Plus is $25. This is also my second month with them before going through chemo. Again, got hair stuff and I got nail care stuff. At the time, I didn't need either one of them and they kept sending it. So we'll see how that goes. Last month, I liked them. But I also had some stuff to share with you in those. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So let's take a look. Okay. Birch box comes in an outer box like this. And like I said, I already unsealed it and already took um, the box out. So that way I could sterilize everything. Now the only thing is with my boxy charm, since we do not know what we get in our boxy charm, we're given sneak peeks and we do get to choose in the boxy charm one item that we're going to get. Um, I kind of like to like that be a surprise. I'm not sure when I get my BoxyCharm, my BoxyCharm Premium, how I'm going to handle that yet as far as sterilization. Whether I'm going to go ahead and spoil the surprise and sterilize ahead of time or sterilize as I'm opening them for you. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So first I'm going to look at my birch box. You do get a little product sampling card. It says look for lip products with peppermint oil for a plumping effect. It's birch box tip 200. They give you like a little tip card. And then they give you, um, like a little cheat sheet so to speak of what is in your box and what the value of each item is and then this is what the box looks like i think it's a very pretty box this month very springy very colorful looking so let's just open the box up i'm just going to open each thing up and then we're going to talk about what's in it i'm not going to try any products so i have them all out and then we'll i'll see about trying the products first thing i see i don't like i can tell you right away it's going to be a giveaway because this is something i got back in 2016, 2017. So I started chemo in 2016, 2017. This item was in one of my boxes then and I actually got it in my Ipsy and I got it in my Birch box back in 2017 and they're still giving it away. It's by um, Oraby, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a dry texturizing spray. I do not use it. The only brand of dry shampoo I use, which I didn't use until this past week because my hair's growing out. It's getting long and getting weird, you know, with everything going on. Um, I can't remember the brand name to be honest with you. Actually, it might be, that brand might be, it might be this brand here. 
that's coming up. This um, R and Company. This is actually something else that's in here. This is a high dive moisture and shine cream for hair, which I will keep this one. Um, the value of this, the full size of this, um, is actually $48 for the full size. The full size of this is $29. But this brand, I think is the brand that I have in my dry shampoo. And I really like that. This, when I tried it before, I did not like because of the texturization I don't need. I don't think. But anyway, this will be in a giveaway. So this is for you guys. Um, so I'm going to put that over there. This I will use. Um, as far as the dry texturizing, it says it's part dry shampoo, part texturizer. This multi-tasker multi soaks up oil and gives hair body and bounce. I don't need to soak up oil because I have like a dry hair situation. So, yeah, I, again, I don't need that. This says it's formulated to suit, smooth and seal the hair cuticle. This cream softens, fights frizz, and enhances shine. And it says you're supposed to pry, apply to towel dried hair. So I will be keeping this. The next thing is the Real Beauty Vitamin C Sheet Mask. So I have a love-hate relationship with sheet mask. Um, my face is a little small, so when I put it on, I have like a lot of gapping. It's cold and it feels really, I just, I get like cold chills. I don't know if you can see it or not, like thinking about it because it just freaks me out a little bit because it's so cold on my skin. I like warmth and those kind of masks on my skin. Um, but when I used, I've tried a few different masks out lately and this one did okay because there's like a lot of product left over and I was able to use enough there was enough left over after the mask that I had enough left over for like a week and I don't know whether you're supposed to do that or not it says to use what's left like afterwards but I had so much left that I was able to use it for like a week and it did fine my skin is going through a major breakout and I've been picking a lot when I don't wear makeup I pick and I didn't wear makeup for like four days if you watch my last video I was in a huge slump major funk and I didn't wear a lot of makeup so I picked and picked and picked like right here and when I put my blush on which is in one of these it's going to probably accentuate it even more so we'll see how that goes but and also been eating a lot of spicy Doritos and do you guys if you eat stuff like that does it make your face break out I noticed when I ate spicy Doritos when I ate them a lot in the past I broke out and then I went through with my restrictive eating with my anorexia I stopped eating stuff like that and now that I'm eating it again I'm breaking out again so anyway, um, I did okay with this mask. I didn't do too bad with it, but I don't want to use it again. It's like, it's not something I'm going to buy, something I'm going to be um, like leaning toward. I have some other sheet masks I want to try out. That's what I'm trying to get around to saying. I have some other ones I want to try out. So I want to share this with you guys. I didn't have any problems with it. It worked well with my skin, but I didn't see anything that's going to be like, oh, I got to have that sheet mask. I need to try it again right now. So I will be sharing this with you guys. Um, the full size on these are $15. So this is going to go into a giveaway. The next thing I have is by City Limits. It's a lush eyeshadow, um, or it's called City Limits Eyeshadow by IBY Beauty. It's a champagne shade. It's from the City Lights palette. It says it's $20 value. So we will see what that looks like. I knew there was an eyeshadow in here, but it wasn't a palette. So that's why I didn't worry with um, holding it back for my eye makeup. It's a teeny tiny little baby. It's just a little tiny little baby. It's really tiny, but this is what the color looks like. I think it's really pretty. And that probably would have been really good um, to put on my lid. So let's see what that looks like. It is really pretty. It's a gold. I thought it was going to be like a white, but it's more like a gold. Um, and actually, you know what? Let's just see how it plays in there. Actually, it's hard to tell because, you know, I already have these other colors on, so. It's hard to tell what it's going to do. But let's, let's do a swatch on the back of my hand. So, it's, it's pretty. I'm definitely going to try it and use it. Um, it's right there. Now, it's definitely going to be something I'll use for sure. Okay, like I said, the value of that's twenty dollars. So we're already way above our, you know, the value. So that's a good thing. And the next thing is by Stila. It's a um, Beauty Boss lip gloss. Full size is fifteen. It's in the color Synergy, and this is the color right there. It's really pretty. And I'm not going to put this on yet because um, this is going to swatch it for you. It's because I have other lip colors in. In here that I want to try out as well but that's what that looks like that's really pretty really pretty that's definitely my color um 
and I picked that from a box because you do get to pick one item. All right, so that is everything in the birch box. Overall, three, uh, two out of three out of five items that I'm keeping. I like that. All right, and I'm gonna do the value of the actual boxes when I'm done. And this is my Ipsy bag. This is the regular bag. This is the twelve dollar bag. I like the bag. It's um like that, the plastic, vinyl, whatever. Um, I like that part of it. And you get one, two, three, four, five. I did get to pick one item. And they do give you like dates you have to pick by too. And it's called Full Bloom. And then you do get a card with that as well. Um, this one actually doesn't have, okay, yeah, it doesn't have the pricing or anything on this one. It just says, whether you're looking for a 101 on liquid liner, experts take on skincare, ingredients for the perfect hair, hairstyle how-to, the Ipsy blog is has intel. Get ready, your skills are about to super bloom. And then it says, save the date, 425. So it tells you when you're going to be able to choose your next product. So April 25th, I'll be able to choose my May product. Um... Yeah, it really doesn't tell you. It says, like you, roses aren't just pretty, they're powerful. While we're digging into rosehip oil, can we're digging how into rosehip oil can give you the petal soft complexion of your dreams. And from using rosehip oil in the past, it does not smell like roses, but it has really good um, quality ingredients that help different parts of your skin. Um, like in here, it says it's moisturizing, can help improve fine lines and wrinkles, and it can help soothe irritated skin. So apparently, these ingredients must have rosehip oil. There is no value of the box on this probably is online but it's not here okay so the first thing we have is by estate and it says do me it's a baked highlighter powder I thought maybe it might have a, a value on here but it does not this is the packaging that it comes in and the components a plastic component and I don't know if this is the thing I picked or not I don't remember and this is the highlighter it's a baked highlighter It's a gold color. And this is what it looks like. It looks a lot like that um, eyeshadow we just tried, doesn't it? Let me see if it's gonna show up here. And we'll put it right above the highlighter of the eyeshadow so you can see this is the, the highlighter and that's the eyeshadow. Look how similar they are. Very similar. Okay, let me wipe that off next thing we have is by Kaleidoscope Cosmetics. I did get, um, this is actually a vegan and cruelty free product. I got one of their eyeshadows that I'm actually sharing with you guys in one of the box giveaway boxes. And this is uh, Prima Donna Skin Blush. This might be what I picked actually. And this is the packaging. Did I show, I show you the box? That's the box. And it's got the little rabbit for cruelty free and vegan. And it's also on the back of the package. Right there. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Not too bad. And yeah, there's a shimmer. So we'll see how that works. And now this is what I picked. That's right. Okay, this is by Glossier. Or Glossier? Glossier. It's a primer. It says Primey Moisturizer. Um, and I have never tried any of their products before. This is what, this is what it looks like. And that's the reason I got it. Because I've always wanted to try their products. Um, and I've always heard, you know, really good things about the brand. And I'm always apt to try, you know. I'm always down to try a new moisture, or a primer. It's very thick. But it's got, it does have a, yeah, it does have a fragrance to it. Not too, not too peachy keen on fragrances. So we'll see. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. As you can tell, it's very thick, very creamy looking, um, like the Juno and Co. Which I had to quit using my Juno and Co. primer. My face is not, it's not coming in clear. Hello. I had to quit using that because um, I think I'm allergic to, well this feels good, I think I'm allergic to avocado and that had avocado and that's the best primer I have ever, 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 ever used. 
and made my makeup stay on forever and it didn't get greasy or oily and it kept my skin hydrated all at the same time and it made my makeup look good and it was amazing i loved it so so much but i started getting a lot of milia and i couldn't figure out why i was getting a milia but i was getting them and i like changed my skincare and everything and i was still getting them so i stopped using it for a couple days and you know the milia started going away I still get a few down through here, but like all around my eyes, they stop going away. And I have a eye cream that I use like on the top part of my eyelids. And whenever I use, like if I move, if I happen to pull it out too far here or put it down through here, I get milia. Like right here, I've got one because I put the eye cream underneath my eyes the other day and it has avocado. So I had to quit using it. So guess what? On my back stock, I'm giving it to you guys. So it's going to be in your giveaway boxes. Yeah. Anyway, I'll try that. The next thing is balance me. It's um, it's an eye cream. Make sure it doesn't have any avocado in it. It doesn't say, so I'm gonna have to look that up. But this is what it looks like. Um, and if it has avocado in it, it's gonna be a giveaway. But if it doesn't, it you know it's gonna it's gonna be mine. It doesn't have a smell to it. I'm assuming it doesn't. More than likely, since it said it has the rose hip in it, more than likely it's a rose hip. Um, it is vegan, but it does not say. So I'm gonna have to look that up. The next thing is by Bella Premier. Bella Pierre, sorry, Cosmetics. It's a matte lipstick and Incognito is the color. And if it'll focus, it'll show you what the packaging looks like. And we'll see what that looks like. It's a nice component. It's very lightweight plastic. It's brown. I don't know how else to describe it. It's brown. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't want to test it because I don't think it's going to be a color that I'm going to like. I do wear colors like this, but I don't think this is going to be one. I'm not much on bullet lipstick, so I'm going to put this in the giveaway for you guys. So that's. Three giveaway items so far. All right, so these are the items that are in that box. That, like I said, I don't have a, a price on that yet. So we have um, that to the side so I don't get them mixed up. Okay, and the next thing is my 25 dollars Ipsy bag. And this came in, this came in a box. The, the, the other Ipsy bag came in actually like a, a plastic bag. And this came in an actual box. And the good thing about when you like saw a box, it takes off all the label information so I can show it to you. You know, I can see everything, like my address and stuff. Um, so like I said, I already sanitized everything. And the reason they put this in the box because a lot of times the stuff can't fit in the bag. So it comes in a box like this and it says, discover yourself on the inside. And then it says, from you to you, which I think that's cute. And then it has all the products, which I'm gonna go ahead and just take the products out. And I've already wiped them all down. And this bag is similar to the other bag, but it's green. And it's got the, the same little handle. I like the bags a lot this month. I think they're really pretty. And it's got the same the same thing. And it says, this time it actually has, it says grow your beauty skills. And it actually has all the products listed. And it does have a retail value on them. So the first thing it has is the Triple Shot Mascara. Okay, this is the one, this is the mascara I wanted to try. It's by Ciate, Ciate Beauty. It's called Triple Shot Mascara. Its value is $22. I'm at 23 minutes. I need to keep an eye on my timing because sometimes when I get to like 28-ish, sometimes it'll cut off on me. Um, it's just a regular mascara. Don't think I've tried this brand of mascara yet. I don't think. I don't know. I've got, I don't know. I've got a lot of mascaras, but I don't think I've tried this one yet. This is the, the brush. Um, it's a typical brush. Let me show you what I usually use in case you have not been here before. Um, to show you what kind of brush that I normally typically use so you can see what I compare it to. This is my by Terry which I am totally in love with. This brush twists and you have your lengthening brush and then you twist it down and you can go like in between and you twist it down and then it has these little tiny bristles that grab your little tiny eyelashes like I have so that's why it works so well for me. So I'll try this other one and we'll see, you know, we'll see where it goes. Okay. And then the next thing we have is this little highlight and blush palette. This is what I picked in my box. It's by uh, Shanna B Cosmetics. 
It's called the Miami Blush and Highlighting Palette for $20 value. It comes in an outer carton and it has an inner. It's really cute. And this is what it looks like. And this is another, you know, it's got blush and it's got the highlighting colors. So now I have a choice to make because I have other highlights and blush to try. Maybe I'll do like this side. That's what I'll do. I'll do this side. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so this side I can do the blush from um, the one bag. And then on this side I'll do the other. So that's what I will do. So let's just look at this. This Okay, that's not really showing up much at all. But this is what, um, this is what that looks like. And as you can see, it's not, I don't even see it on my finger, like hardly at all, but we'll see what it looks like. And the gold one, that's the gold, the gold shows up. Um, I'm not giving you guys the finger, really not, but that's what the gold and the other ones beside it. So it barely shows up. Well, you can see it more there. And then the blushes, I like the blushes, except this one because it has a little bit of shimmer. I'm not much on shimmer blushes, but these are the two blushes. So they're they're okay they're not bad okay it's not working that way i thought it would but it's not but those are the blushes so i will um i'll try those we'll see okay no smell not really there's not really a smell all right the next thing we have is the sailor rose it says very best cream rose it's a moisturizer that's 39 dollars it says um i'm assuming it's a full size it's a four ounce. It says, treat your body with this intense moisture and your nose to a pretty floral scent with this body cream. I don't know if it's got actual rose. It said it's got notes of jasmine, peach, and rose water. I can't smell anything with a rose, like an actual rose smell. It causes me to have migraines. So I don't know whether it has a rose smell or not. And it has a seal to it. So I don't, there's no way for me to tell without breaking the seal. My son loves the smell of roses. So I think if I don't let the smell, we'll give it to him, guys, because he loves the smell of roses. So I'm going to have to, I want to go ahead and open it because if I don't like it, I know he will because he likes the smell of roses. So sorry, guys, I can't share this one with you. Because he always gets first dibs on this, some of this stuff. And he likes highlighters and stuff too. But now that he doesn't go out of the house, he doesn't really wear them, but he wears them to school and stuff. He's my little mini me. He and I are a lot of like, he's the one that got me wearing highlighters and contouring. Okay, I don't smell the roses. It smells really good actually. Yes, I don't smell the rose. So that's a good thing. So that's not bad. Okay, the next thing is the Tarte Tartiest Double Take Eyeliner in Black. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. I already put eyeliner on. And that is this. Value is $24 on this. And I think these, I think if I remember right, yeah. In the plus bag, I do believe everything is full size in that bag. Um, and we're already above like all the, the prices on that too. And this is what it looks like here. And it does turn up. And this is a very nice tip. I like that. It's got the point to it. Um... And we'll try it underneath my eyes. Okay, is this? I think it's a liquid. It's a dual end it. Okay, so it's a gel and liquid. So that's the liquid. Oh no, that's that's the gel. Oh, it is. <laughs> And I didn't push it down all the way and I broke the tip off. Look what I did. How stupid. I guess that teaches me I need to read first. See what I did to the tip? Broke the tip off. So when you get this, make sure you roll it down before you put the tip back, the, the top back on it. And this is the other end. And it's very nice. I like that. It's like it draws really, really nice on the on the Look, look at that, guys. Look. It doesn't smear off. Like, at all. I like that. Oh my gosh. I'm like rubbing it on my towel I have down here. It's still there. It's still there. 
That is amazing. Oh my gosh, that's going to be amazing for, unless you make a mistake, then it will be amazing. Okay, so I didn't pay attention to my time like I said I was. Anyway, that's, that's, I like that a lot. The next thing I got is the Dose of Colors. Play it cool in um, the, the matte lipstick, and I have never tried anything but Dose of Colors. I've been wanting to, but I haven't, and I also picked the Dose of Colors from a BoxyCharm, but this is the Unicarton, and this is the component. I like the, the look of that. It's by, um, it's $18 value. And I do like this color a lot. This is the color. So we're going to be trying this because that is it. That's all I have for lips in the other one. So. You know what? I'm not even going to do value because I can tell you right now this is the one with the most value. Um, so I'm just going to give you my honest opinion on what I think the best value out of all these boxes. Okay. So. For the birch box. We had... Um, what do we have in the birth box? Hell if I know. Oh, that's right. We had this one color in that one, the one, um, lipstick that I didn't try. So we had the, um, we had the spray, the, the texturizing spray, which I'm not going to use. We had this eye color, which I will be using. We had the hair cream, which I will be using. The sheet mask, which I will not be using. And we had this lip color, which I will be using. So I mean, it's really good value for that box. Um, you know, for $15, that's a really, really good value, guys. I think it's a really good value. I'm, I'm happy with the box. I will be trying it again next month because even though that one is in there again, and I've actually seen their advertisements and I see this like in all their advertisements, this must be something they give away a lot. So, I mean, I can't tell what it smells like through the thing. So, I mean, that's something that apparently they give away a lot. And these sheet masks I'm seeing like in a lot, a lot of bags and boxes and things like that. So more than likely, you guys are going to be getting a sheet mask, probably almost everything I give away. So be, be prepared for that. And um, yeah, I think it's a really good value. So if you're looking for uh, a quick little pick-me-up, something quick, easy, $15, if you have it to spare, that's, that's, that's a good value. And like I said, if you don't have the money spare, don't spend it. Please don't spend it. You know, spend it on bread, milk things that you need for a necessity. If you can get, get toilet paper and paper towels, that's more important than spending on makeup and things like that. This is just something I do. Um, I subscribed to this stuff before all this happened. A couple of the other boxes I just recently did pick up just to throw that out there at you just because I did. Okay, that's just something I, I do for myself because I really don't do anything else. This is what I do. Um, I am definitely gonna be using that. Ipsy came with this one. And I'm going to be giving back to you guys. And then everything else I'm keeping that's sitting here. So this is like major for me. Because usually I don't keep a lot of the stuff I get. So. Um, and I, I've never tried these other brands. So I really can't say, you know, how I'm going to work with that. For me, as far as how I feel value goes, I think Ipsy won this month. I really do. I think they won because their, their bags are really nice bags. They're not chinchy. Um, I think that they're going to be able to be reused again, whether or not I'll keep them or give them to you guys. You never know. You never know what I'm going to do. Um, I do give back a lot of my bags and stuff that I get in boxes. I reuse my boxes. So you may see them again. You may not. It depends. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be using every single bag I get. So you guys probably will see Ipsy bags in future giveaways, just to kind of give that out to you guys. Um, and I can't wait to try this, this primer. I'll probably try this tomorrow. And the eye cream, if it doesn't have avocado, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't, I'll be trying that. If it does, then I'll be giving it to you guys. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. If, if it did, I'm pretty sure it would tell me it did. But I'll be checking into that. Um, I'm going to try out this mascara, like, right now while I've got you here. So I can tell you that. Um, I am going to use this little handy-dandy um, eyelash curler instead of my other heated one. Because that one just takes a little longer to use. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to kind of put a quick curl on here. And then try this mascara really quick just to see what it's like. And it's also a heated one. It's just a little quicker. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to be too particular. I just want to see how this works. It's got a strong odor. But then again, that's like me. That's my opinion. Mother used to tell me as a kid, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. That's about the gist of it.
Okay. It did okay over here on this eye. Um, I do have one little eyelash that's that's starting to grow in. I don't know if you can see it or not, like right there. So it's, you know, kind of caught that lash, but, you know, it didn't bring it up. Um, it's clumping right here in the corner. That's because I'm starting to get those lashes in, so it's it's kind of starting to clump there. I'm going to heat this one up. i got to heat it up a little bit more, like preheat it a little bit more for this side over here because I can't. I can't curl a lot without hurting my lashes. And I want to show you before I put the mascara on, I want to show you these lashes. So you can see what I'm talking about as far as me getting my lashes back. I'm going to zoom you in a little. Okay. So these are the lashes I am getting back. And you can see right there where I'm getting my lashes back. I think you can see. Hopefully you can see. So I'm going to leave it zoomed while I put this on and we'll see how it does. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Yesterday's mascara didn't have a little tip on the the end it was more blunt this has got a little bit of a blunt end but you know I know you can't see what I'm doing because I've got it zoomed in it's not my by Terry by any means Sophie Whew. she's looking like crazy I don't know if you guys can hear or not and Sophie has another bladder infection I recognized it the other day. I know it's at least a urinary tract infection. So she's starting medication. The vet is giving her medication because of her history. And we kind of recognized it. And luckily we didn't have to go get it or, you know, go take her in or anything. So Mike stopped by and picked that up. They brought it up to the car to him. Okay, so as I'm putting it on, it did not get those lashes. I thought it started to, but then it, it skipped over them. And I'll show you what I meant. See how it skipped over those lashes? So let me show you what the By Terry does. If you saw my video yesterday, you kind of saw what it did. But I want to show you. Hopefully it'll go on okay. I want to show you what this little brush does to them. And if you saw the video yesterday, you would have seen what it did. But we'll see if it works today. Because, like, it doesn't work over top of some brands. It'll clump on top of other brands. It just depends on the brand underneath, whether it clumps with other brands. And that's what it's doing. It's clumping with this other brand. So, it's not going to be able to be layered with other brands, apparently. Because it's clumping with this brand. Okay. Because... I've been able to use this brand, my battery with other brands, and it hasn't clumped, and it's clumping with this brand. So you see how it's clumping? And I don't have my little eyelash curler up here either. Let me see. Um, or not curler, my little eyelash thingamajig, because I didn't think I was going to need it, honestly. I thought it would be okay to not have up here. It's my little switchblade. Don't mess with a lady with an eyelash comb. And then we'll see how this works on... This other brain works on the bottom lashes. Maybe it'll work better down there. Alright, I'm just going to leave it alone because I don't want to like overdo it and make it even more clumpy. But yeah, it didn't work too good on my top lashes. Um, no, I'm not happy with the way it looked, the way it worked on the, the top lashes at all. But we'll see how it works on the bottom lashes. Maybe it'll work better on the bottom lashes. I keep smelling it because it smells weird. And I swear, I swear, I've, t I've tried this before. I might have it already in my arsenal of mascaras. I don't know. It's doing okay. I am 
getting clumping. Can you see the clump right there? And if you can see it or not. Yeah, it's clumping pretty bad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this um, mascara, but it could just be me. Um, but you can actually see it on the end, and I did wipe it off. But you can see, you can see it on the wand itself where it's clumping up. But I'm down to try it because I like trying mascaras out. I'm always looking for that one perfect mascara, and so far I found by Terry's my perfect mascara. It may not be yours, but it's mine. It's my perfect mascara. Because a lot of people are like, well, I like this brand, I like that brand, and I've tried that brand, this brand, and they don't work for me, but they might work for you. All right. So for my um, highlighter and my blush, like I said, I'm going to do one side with one and one side with the other. So I'm going to try the Cleto on this side for my blush. I'm going to use my bling brush for that. And I did use my Samantha March bronzer again um, on this side over here. Or on my face, I mean, I used my, my bronzer. Okay, this is going on really pretty. And it doesn't have as much shimmer when you put it on. And it looks um, like a warm tone. And then it kind of goes on almost like a cool tone when you put it on. It's really pretty. So I'll definitely be reaching for this again. I know a lot of people when spring comes they don't wear like the warm tones and stuff as much in the spring, but I do. I don't, that is not, the seasons don't dictate what I wear on my face, on my body. Um, I don't care. I dictate what I wear. I don't let seasons determine what I wear. I don't, I don't let seasons determine what hair color I do because I don't let anything dictate it. I dictate myself. I don't let people dictate what I do. I don't let seasons dictate what I do because we're our own person. All right, there's a little shimmer as I blend it. It does shimmer out a little bit up here. Okay, and then for the other side, I'm going to use this palette. So I'm going to grab, let's see, let's grab, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my big Juno brush for that. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one right here, which is called, and I probably need my glasses on. <laughs> okay. It is called Rosa. So for Rosa. And like I said, it's probably going to cause my my dogs are playing like crazy over here. It's, I'm going to have to tap it in because um, of that pimple powder thing I have over here. See where it's really messed up with my skin over there. This is really pretty. I like this color. It's really pretty. It's just hard to, you know, it's not, it's really bad on my cheek right now because of my skin. I'm like trying to be really light handed, but it's, it's really not, it's not going on like, I mean, it's going on well, like if I put it up here and it's performing well, but my skin problem is really coming front and center. These colors are very similar. Like you really can't tell I have two different brands on. Oops. So yeah, you really can't tell. They're very similar in color. With the same color family. Um, I'm going to try to cover my goofiness here. It's kind of a little late in the game, but I don't know if I can fix that or not. It's pretty, pretty ratchet. And usually it's the color, this side of the face I take pictures for, so. I don't know. That's pretty bad. Okay. And then for my highlighter on this side over here, I'm going to use this Estate Baked Highlighter. And I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use my bling brush for that. I did use my Fenty foundation today, and I used my Fenty concealer. I'm going to use this bling brush. I'm going to use this.
That's really pretty, guys. It's not usually much on like a lot of the really gold, gold tones. That's really pretty. I don't know if it's coming. I'm going to bring you in a little closer because lighting is changing as the lighting outside is changing. But can you see that? That's really pretty. I don't know if my lighting needs to go down some. Let me see. Um, I want it the other way. Too much. We don't want to darken everything here. There we go. It's really pretty. It's not like a blinding. I'm sure you can probably build it up to be. It's like a simple wet look. And then on the other side. I need to do above my. Can you hear them? Like they're just like in, in the back going absolutely ape shit. What are you two doing? What are you two doing? Hmm? I'm going to put that over my eye as well. And in the corners. Clean that off so I can use it on the other side. And then over here I'm going to use... Um, I think I want to use this one for above my eye to go in with the pink that I have on my eye. And what I said earlier about not having anyone around here that I talk to about makeup. I have people that, that I know that, you know, that I talk to about makeup, so I'm not like dousing anybody because you know like melinda that lives here um is my fiance's mom my fiance my son's fiance's mom but like as far as non-family members i really don't have a lot of people around here that because melinda's my family but as far as like non-family member goes i don't really have anybody around here that i talk to on a regular basis about makeup then I'm going to use my Juvia's Place. Let's try this one. And I don't want to do gold again, so I'm going to use that pink again. And just see what it looks like. Keep it all in check here. Okay, it's not... It looks, it looks good on the eye, but then like down here, it's not as bright. This side's brighter. But it's a very pretty highlighter. And I'm a highlighting bitch, let me tell you. I love my highlighters. So I probably will definitely pick it up. I like my Pillow Talk. Um, I like my Samantha March uh, for highlighter much better. You too, please stop. I like my Samantha March highlighter better. Let me try this gold right above my lip. Yeah, I like, I like the pink better. Let's see down my nose. I don't like it down my nose though. I don't, yeah, I don't like that down my nose. So we're going to use the gold down the nose, this gold down my nose. And above my lip. This gold I like better. It's like a whitish gold. It's not as gold as the other palette. So, so far I like a combination. You know, I like I like this for the nose and the lip and the cheek, and I like the other one for above the eye. But if you're looking for a simple highlighter, the other the other one's good. All right, and I'm going to use this for my lips. It's got a nice stove foot applicator. It's not flimsy. You guys hear them in the background they are just like going at it back here that's Sophie and Cassie my pug and my Sheba
My lips are so chapped. I haven't been using as much as my Bite Beauty at night as I was using before. I need to go back to that. This reminds me of the color Virgin by Morphe. It's really pretty. Looks almost like Deceased by Jeffree Star. I've got two Jeffree Star colors coming this week, I think, too. That's some of the older, old, uh, other colors I didn't get. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to use the steel on top of it. Do you guys say Stila or do you say Stila? I've heard it both ways. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It's not not sticky. I got in teeth now. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, overall, I like it. I like everything that I got um, that, I, that I tried. That I don't have any complaints about every, anything I tried. Um, everything laid really well on my skin. Both blushes I liked. Um, I didn't have any problems with the performance at all. It can be, I'm trying to see whether, you know, how it works as far as um, blending it out. It blends out really nicely if you put too much on. Which I didn't. I just want to see how it blend out. Blends out really nice. Um, the other color. What did I do with that brush? There it is. Um, I don't want to blend out too much over here. It blends out nicely as well. Highlighters blend it really nicely. Um, I'm going to have to get me some more dose of colors. I hope the one I get in box turns a different color. Because I like that. I like that a lot. Love the component on that. Um, yeah. I'm really sad. I'm very satisfied with these boxes and stuff. I still think the Ipsy one this month. Um, I like having the full size items, but even the samples, these other brands, very satisfied guys, very satisfied. I'm very happy with these boxes. So guys, thank you so much again for coming, for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I know this was a, a long video. The last two have been very long videos. I had a lot to talk about, didn't I? I did. I had a lot to talk about, a lot to do. Um, my next video, um, will probably be another box unboxing, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh my goodness, dogs. Um, I'm assuming it'll be another unboxing. I'm not going to tell you what they're doing over here. They're two female dogs. They shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, um, I'm assuming it'll be another unboxing because I have some other stuff coming. Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what it'll be. But we'll find out when they get here. Um, because I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what outcome it. We'll see. Or I could just get on here and just talk to you guys about things. You know, I like to do that every once in a while. So, do you guys like that kind of thing? Do you guys like when I just kind of get on here and just talk and not do anything at all? Like when I just kind of get on here and talk about how I'm feeling that day or something? Because if you guys don't like doing, if you don't want to see me do that, then I won't do it. You know, if that bores you, I don't want to do that. But anyway, thank you so, so much for being here and for spending time with me and for supporting me because that just means the world to me. And um, I want to give back more to you guys. So not only do I have my subscriber giveaway that ends next month, I have some surprises coming up for you. I'm not gonna tell you when they are because then it wouldn't be a surprise. So look for that. Just, you know, keep, keep your ear, keep your ear tuned for your notifications, your eyes tuned, your eyes peeled, whatever you want to say. Come back and join me. Thank you for being here. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.